The skeleton changes across the human lifespan. This is characterized predominantly by bone formation and growth throughout childhood, followed by a gradual loss of bone density that begins in early adulthood that can accelerate significantly in older adults. The density of bone is modulated by a group of cells including osteoclasts, which are multinucleated cells that resorb bone and osteoblasts, which refill the resorption cavities created by osteoclasts. Osteoclasts anchor themselves to the surface of bone. This creates a microenvironment underneath the cell, which is referred to as the sealed zone. Within this zone, the osteoclasts create an acidic environment that dissolves the bone's mineral content. Once the mineral content of the bone has been dissolved, enzymes released from osteoclasts remove the remaining collagenous bone matrix to complete the process of resorption. Following resorption, osteoblasts move into the resorption space and start to produce and deposit organic matrix called osteoid. Osteoid, a substance made predominantly of collagen, forms a scaffold in which minerals including calcium and phosphate begin to crystallize. Some active osteoblasts become trapped within the matrix they secrete and thereby become osteocytes. Other osteoblasts will undergo apoptosis or will revert back to lining cells which cover the surface of bone. This cycle of bone resorption and formation is referred to as remodeling. There is also a process where bone formation by osteoblasts occur without prior bone resorption by osteoclasts. This results in an increase in bone mass and is referred to as bone modeling. Bone modeling promotes the growth of bones and is important for maintaining bone strength. Remodeling also plays an important role during bone growth by optimizing the growing structure. After the age of 30, most people experience a gradual loss in bone mass due to a relative decrease in the activity of osteoblasts compared with osteoclasts. However, there are many factors that impact the process of bone remodeling and influence the degree of bone loss we experience as we age. For example, medications such as glucocorticoids, which can promote osteoclast activity and also reduce bone formation. Proper nutrition and physical activity can help strengthen bone. It is also believed that osteocytes form a complex network in bone that can sense any increased workload on the bone and respond by triggering the differentiation and activity of osteoblasts to increase bone density. Conversely, when bone experiences reduced loading conditions, such as during long-term bed rest, resorption and remodeling increase to eliminate underloaded bone. Loss of bone mass reduces its strength and increases the risk of fracture. This highlights the importance of staying active, maintaining good nutrition throughout life, and being aware of personal risk factors associated with low bone density.